It took me so long to get into the Persona series, and I'm finally into it. I know I'm like close to two years being late, but better late than never, right? But man, I played this game straight through a week, and I even played till 6 a.m. one night. In case you guys don't know what Persona is or Shin Megami Tensei, it is one of the best anime RPGs. It features high school students trying to change their society from corrupt adults by changing their cognitive thinking by changing their hearts. I can explain more, but that would literally take forever. In the Persona games, you can also choose to date certain girls that are important to the story. Today, I want to feature my favorite ones from Persona 5. Know that there will not be spoilers to the game's main story in this video, I will only be talking about the character's personalities and why they are great. At the end of the video too, I have a very special announcement I want to make, so be sure to stick around for that. Starting off this list is Anne Takamaki, the blonde foreigner of Japan. You would think Anne would come off as a very snobby girl due to her appearance, but no, she's the perfect example of you can't judge a book by her cover. A lot of girls are jealous of Anne though because of her appearance, and they dislike her because of some false rumors going on about her. I'm not going to get into what those rumors are, but you guys will see if you actually play the game. She's basically labeled as a girl who hooks up with a lot of guys and is very, very pretty. However, she is the complete opposite. She actually has very few friends and just wants people to be appreciative of her. I think Anne is really cool, and people should totally give her a chance. She's super nice and thoughtful of other people as well. Coming in at number 4 is Haru the Flower Gardener. She's a relatively quiet girl, but she's sensitive to certain situations and can be really empathetic of people. You would think a girl like this also has no backbone, but boy was I wrong. I assumed so differently of her. I thought that she was like this quirky kind of dork, but she's quiet, empathetic, but if you get her upset, she will pull the big guns on you. Literally. Don't sleep on Haru. She's also super derpy, just plain adorable. I would actually recommend her a lot. Right in the middle of the list is Hifumi Toga, or the Shogi player of Persona 5. She has a reputation of being one of the best Shogi players in Japan for her age, and has constantly plastered magazines and other kinds of places everywhere. Funny enough, despite being popular, she actually plays Shogi by herself in a church. If the player chooses to date her, they will learn certain tactics that you can use during battle that actually come in a lot of handy. She also has a really sweet personality, and has a really modest attitude about her as well. Hifumi enjoys Shogi, but the main reason she does play is because she wants to help her family out of financial debt. To me, that is is super wholesome, and she does whatever she can to make the player happy as well if they do choose to date her. She is also adorable, might I add. So without giving too many spoilers away, I will just say I disliked Makoto a lot towards the beginning of the game because she was such a big fat snitch. Quite frankly, she was a snob that only wanted a recommendation for a good college. She was a goody goody student that I absolutely disliked in high school, and trust me, there were a lot of those back in my high school and I hated them all. Then as the story progresses, you realize that she actually just has a hard life and that she feels like she is under the manipulation of the corrupt adults. She realizes this and decides to change her ways completely, 180 degrees. I respect Makoto a lot because of this, and you find out she really has a heart of gold, but at the same time she also wants you to keep up with your studies as well as she's a pretty smart girl. Might I also add that the scenes you have with her in the game are pretty cute too. I have actually seen them compared to the others in the list I have not. Makoto truly has a great character development in this story, and that's why I highly recommend her as well. The best waifu in Persona 5 is Futaba. I can't get into super details as to why I like her so much, because that would highly spoil the game for you guys if you have not played Persona 5. Let me just say, she has the best character development out of everyone in that entire game. Her backstory is just so beautiful, but super sad at the same time, and the way how she conveys all this sorrow is just artsy. If you've played Persona, then you know what I'm talking about. Play the game or watch the anime to find out. I feel she's the damsel in distress that needs to be rescued with an all-out war with herself. The way how she expresses herself after she is rescued is so dang wholesome too. She's so derpy, adorable, and does the cutest things. That's why she's my number one. If you have played Persona 5, then you know how great Futaba actually is. Well, those are my top 5 waifus from Persona 5. Each of these girls is super wholesome in their own right, and I think are great individuals for how amazing Persona 5 actually is. Let me know your Persona 5 waifus in the comments below. Earlier I mentioned that I have a special announcement. I'm going to be doing an entire playthrough of Persona 5 over on my Twitch channel. It will be a new game plus playthrough with all of my old stats transferring over. Note that I have only played Persona 5 once, so there are things I still don't know about the game. The playthrough will be starting on Tuesday at 3pm PST over on my Twitch channel. Link for that will be in the description below. I don't like YouTube streaming 
streaming for certain reasons, and that's why I stream over there on Twitch. However, I will be uploading the playthrough here on Mystic Sage and different kinds of parts. So if you missed the playthrough, you can still watch them when they get uploaded. But yeah, that will be starting next week, and uploads of the Let's Play will be posted five days a week, Monday through Friday, as other top fives and such will be uploaded on the weekend. Thanks for watching this video though, and I hope to see you guys when I start my Persona journey.